Hey there, welcome back to Ask Amy, now on Instagram. I hope, I tried this earlier, it didn't work, so we're gonna try it again and see if it works. So this is my weekly Ask Amy that I've done on Facebook as a Facebook Live for a little over five years. I'm gonna see if I can do it over here. Same thing, same questions, send your questions to askamy at thelittleschoolofbigchange.com and I will speak to them and uh, I'll just speak to them here. So today's question is from Adrian. Adrian says, I'm a mother to a sweet 14 month old son. I find I'm feeling my thinking a lot being a new mother, but thankfully I have this understanding under my belt. My question is when I'm in the weeds of the day and feeling my thinking and stress, I pick up my phone and scroll Facebook or receive a text or phone call I, and I get into an even lower mood. It makes this experience of motherhood feel very overwhelming because my low moods hang around for hours. If I put my phone away for the day, I feel like myself. If I have my phone around and I pick it up during a thought storm, I feel even worse for longer. So in my mind, raising children in a time with cell phones is really a nightmare. Can you help me see this from this understanding? Awesome. So Adrian, um, a couple things. I want to look at what's really creating this this uh, th these low moods that you find yourself into, right? And that's important. But before we even look there, I just want to say, you know, let's just go for the low hanging fruit here. If you feel like yourself and it feels easier and more joyful and simpler and nicer to just not have your phone around during the day when you're with your son, why not just put it away and look at what comes up around that, you know, because I think like you say, in my mind, raising children in a time with cell phones is really a nightmare. Of course, our mind will just generalize. It'll say, everybody's always on their phone and you can't live without it and you need it and you, it's already a habit and whatever your mind will say around that. But that's just what a mind says. A mind generalizes everything. A mind just wants to, to give you a conclusion about everything. But really, do you actually need it? I mean, you need a phone perhaps for emergencies and for basic communication. Do you need to be scrolling? Do you, do, does it add anything for you? I mean, really what you're saying here is it doesn't. So, so why do it? And, and just look at that too, you know? Of course, there's a little bit of a habit in there, maybe a big habit. So deciding that you're just gonna play with, if this is what feels right to you, play with setting it aside and not having it out for a little while. You might notice, you're gonna notice reaching for it. You're gonna notice that habitual stuff, but that's okay. That's all just safe, habitual experience. That wouldn't be your mind telling you that you need your phone or you should have it or you're missing out. It, it, would, it would just be a habitual reflex showing up that you can see for what it is and you can decide to just leave it alone for a little while if that's what feels right. So to me, that's just kind of simple and obvious and you see what feels right to you. There's no need for a phone 24-7. Again, if you have one for emergencies, you have one if you need some, if you're waiting for a phone call or a text, wonderful. There's definitely no need for social media. That It is not a need in life at all. So look at where your mind might be telling you otherwise. And, and again, I'm only saying that because you're saying, when this is away, I feel like myself. Well, that's pretty clear. It's pretty clear and pretty awesome, but it could be that simple. So when it is in a way, when you're scrolling and spending time on it and your son's there and you're getting messages and all the chimes and all the stuff and your mood starts to lower, you know, because you've been through the little school, a big change. I know you know how this works. The phone's just the proxy. The chimes are just the proxy. What's happening is some thinking showing up, you know, that whatever it is, and this is for you again to get kind of curious about they're taking me away from my kid, I'm getting disturbed, I don't want this, you know, you you can be curious about what your mind's saying and what's going on there. And and just see what's showing up for you. And it's just helpful because it can kind of, you know, again, the phone's just sort of in the middle here. It's just the scapegoat. But but what's really happening that's leading to these moods is is all this thinking, looking and feeling true. So I think it's super good for you to just be aware of what the thinking is, what it's saying, what it's talking about. Look at it and, and kind of notice, oh, okay, so it's a thought that they're pulling me away. That's what's creating my mood. Okay, well, that's a thought. Like, that's good to see, you know, or whatever it is for you, you can, you have to do that for yourself. And you can just be curious about that and see what shows up. So I hope that helps 
there's no need for the phone all the time. If you're saying you feel like yourself without it, that's worth trying and you totally can. And if you don't and when you don't, see where this mood really is. It's just energy showing up. And one last thing I want to comment on. You talk about these low moods lasting for long periods of time. Just be curious about that too. You know, energy fluctuates, moods fluctuate, thoughts fluctuate, and they're designed to kind of come in and move through. Sometimes it feels like they move quickly. Sometimes it feels like they linger. But often if there's a heavy lingering, there's some kind of pushing it away. You know, it's like, if you can be okay with just feeling whatever you feel, it doesn't mean anything about you. It doesn't mean anything about your parenting. It's just what you're feeling. It's just what's going on. I bet you're going to see these moods kind of move through a little more quickly. So play with that too and just, just kind of see how that goes. So thank you so much, Adrian, for sending your question. Um, thanks everyone for listening. And if you have questions about habits or moods or emotions or anything, anything that you want to see some change around or just see in a fresh way, send your questions to ask Amy at the little school of big change.com. And if this works, I'm going to come back here on Instagram. I'll post it on Facebook as well, but I'm going to come back here and do my lives here um, every Monday afternoon. So thanks so much for listening and I will see you guys soon.